and let's get to the buzz. Some people in Thailand might love corgis <laughs> as much as I do. I it's did not think it was possible. possible maybe. I don't yeah. know. Dia Davidson joining us now with that in the buzz. Oh, ladies, we're all back together Yay. again. And it looks like corgis are, Bill Mac, hush your mouth, are <laughs> on call at this cafe in Bangkok. Roll the video. Corgi in the Garden Cafe is gaining popularity <laughs> all thanks to the hard work from its 12 resident corgis. Customers can play with them, give out treats, even take pictures with the dogs. Now, the cafe owner says she didn't plan on running a corgi cafe, but a surprise litter of puppies meant she could share the joy of the dogs with her customers as long as the, as well as the cost of all of those new little mouths to feed. Look at them shaking hands. Aww. I'm They're obsessed. So cute. That is sweet. Oh, what a cute idea. Because we've seen oh, like yes. cat cafes uh -huh. or, you know, other They ones, probably but... can't get people to leave. They come in, they eat, and yeah. they're just, they just stay. Yeah, if you get there late, the wait's like, like three we're hours. We're going to your table now. <laughs> and oh. it's so relaxing just to be there because oh, they're so friendly and they're so sweet yeah. and everything like that. Guys. We have restaurants here in town over in Hamburg where you can bring your dog. It's pet but, friendly, so, you know, you can check those out. You just mm -hmm. go online mm -hmm. and, and make sure that you can safely yeah. and I bring I think more and more out. places are kind of leaning sure. towards that. Especially if they yeah. have outdoor mm -hmm. facilities. Yeah, patio you know, space. And, right. good. and with the weather opening up, a lot of people are going to do it. But you know what? You're not supposed to ever have kids and animals in shows because they steal the seeds. And we're no different. Some more fur love to share with you today. Check this out. An odd animal couple, but now they have a forever home together. <laughs> Meet Kitty, a six-year-old tabby cat, and Leela, a two-year-old chihuahua. They were dropped off at a Boston shelter several weeks ago in the same carrier. Well, special arrangements were made to allow them to sleep near each other. After a local news story, well, the shelter got dozens of inquiries about Kitty and Leela. Now these two have a new home forever together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. are so funny. They're so teeny. I know. Oh, they're yeah. so cute. I know. That cat is bigger than the <laughs> yeah. dog, which it's, is not something you see that often. Right. Look, at that look at how the cat's just kind of so laying cute. there, even though the little uh -huh. doggy is yeah. kind of climbing on it. My cousin has a little teacup chihuahua. Uh -huh. Her name is Izzy. Isabella. <laughs> Isabella didn't like a road trip one time, so she jumped out of my cousin's car and it cost her like a couple thousand dollars to put pins in the little <gasps> leg, you know, they have surgery oh, and everything. No. She got hurt. It was just awful. My cousin was telling me about the story yesterday. I mean, it sounded like we were talking about a person. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. With the surgery and everything, because people love their animals. And we got more cuteness to tell you about. Firefighters rescued four little kitties from a house fire Sunday in Florida. Here you go. First responders reported heavy flames and smoke. When crews went in the home to put out the hot spots, they found the kittens huddled together, of course, in a puddle of water. The cats were saved and even received their very own oxygen mask. All four kittens are said to be in good condition. How smart is that to know to go wow. into yeah. like a little puddle of water? That Talk is about really smart. tiny. They're a little bit. Yes, thank goodness each and every one oh. of them were saved. You and remember Mother Goose's little nursery rhyme? The oh, three little one? kittens who lost their mittens? Remember kind they, of remember yeah, that no, one. Little, they yeah. lost them. They lost them. They, they found them. Together. <laughs> they, wa they soiled them, they washed them, and then they smelled a rat. You need to brush up on your I, nursery I rhymes, know. Angie. I've yeah. got plenty of books. I'll be reading up. There you go. And that's the book. All right. Thanks, Dia. <laughs> Stick with us. You're watching the 4 o'clock news. We'll be right back.